Hey guys, I'm going to demonstrate how to do one slot size mods using a motion file, and this applies to any characters. Um, I'm going to resize Captain Falcon, I'm sure everybody's already seen Beautiful Joe by now. So it makes it easier to demonstrate. So to start, however you want to find the size that, whatever you want to resize the character to. Just open their motion file so you can view their weight, any anim any single animation. And it's best to know where the floor is for this. So, to start, it's best to resize for the whole body, the Y rotate end, because that bone pretty much doesn't do anything. Now, to make him smaller, just to know exactly how you want to scale him and move him around, Go to this and then resize it to whatever you want it to be. So this will make him smaller. Now, now he's smaller than original, than the original Captain Falcon. But you can see that he go he stands way above ground. So you'd have to make sure you can view the ground level, and then decrease his translation Y for this by whatever amount is needed. And that would be about right. <coughs> so you can see here that when he's smaller his translation is lowered and his scales are decreased so it's best to write down exactly what what so you because you'll need to know it anyway to be able to do this okay so you can just close this it doesn't matter at all but since you want to resize just his Y rotate end Uh, go to the Y rotate end and rename it to whatever you want. That way, this Y rotate end won't ever follow the brawl animations. And you can even do this for individual body parts as well. So now that now that this model has a re resized bone, you can just save it. and then open the motion file now when you go here since you only want to resize individual bones in these animations find, go open this, find this bone animation that's called Y rotate end and you can either do this before or after, but at go right click this animation, go to new bone animation, and then rename this to whatever the new Y rotate end is. This way, this animation only only the character with this bone name can follow this animation now, and this can still be done for individual bones. At just in case there's any rotations in it at all which this one there doesn't seem to be but if you were editing an individual arm or just making a hand or a hat something something bigger or smaller without vertexing export the bone animation and then replace the new bone animation with it as well this way this follows the original animation the same would be for if you made an animation to make only his head bigger, his head bone is head N. So you and whatever you would name rename Beautiful Joe or whoever's head to, rename the bone animation for that. Then export his original head N animation. This way, any model with any model with a bone called head end would follow this animation. Now, before you got the 
scales for it. So for his Y rotate end, just put the scales in for it, and then the Y translation. And since, well, I'll be renaming the head anyway, the head scale to make his head a little, a little bigger. And then just save the animation. Now, since I'm adding a, a different head animation, which the animation follows bone, head and Joe, so I'm going to rename this the head and Joe. Now when you view this with the animation, it'll have animations for the individual bones to play. You can see his weight 2 is normal, but during his weight 1, he's smaller with a bigger head. That's because his weight 1 has a bone that follows this Y rotate Enjo and this head Enjo. So for this entire animation, his head will be bigger, as well as his body being smaller. But every other animation, he's just the same. The only difference is his head doesn't move, which isn't a major loss. But right here is actually pretty perfect Joe size without ever vertexing. This can be done with any single body part, any limb, any individual thing for a character, even even with a sword or anything like that, to use a motion file to simply resize whatever you want, because in some cases people who don't vertex but want bigger, bigger head or something like that, this makes it it's more tedious, but it lets you do more things since there's a limit to resizing characters with vertex hacking. And that's all there is. It's just saving. It, everything's already perfectly fine. There's no. There's very little needed to actually do resizing of a character, and that's all there is to it. I hope this helps many people do whatever they want, any kind of resizes they want.